Hey guys, John here. Today we're going to make a patch I call Hard Techno Sequence in Citrus, and there's a nice little Mod X to control the filter. So this is what it sounds like. All right, so let's dive into this. The only thing I really have post is a little bit of EQ, so kind of more corrective EQ here. And it kind of looks like this. We have here kind of here cutting the really low end, some mud here, and just boosting a little bit of the highs. So let's turn this off for now and kind of just focus on the patch itself. So this one here, let's dive into the first operator because there's actually a lot going on. There's really gonna be three operators for this whole patch and two filters, some effects here as well. So really the interesting part is how these operators are gonna be working together. So if we dive into the first one here, what we can notice here on Citrus, if you don't know, is all these yellow lights here, these little yellow lines right here, are gonna indicate that something's been used. So the first thing I did with this one here is on the main, I put nine voices of unison. This is very important. For the panning, it's down at zero, the volume at the top, and all these other bars here are gonna be all the way at the bottom. Also, two times over sampling is very helpful. So diving back into this first operator here, if we go over to the unison tab and we're in the panning here so with all these different voices we can kind of see this first one here is in the center and then this one up here is going to be to the right and then to the left center left or right left center and then right again so we're kind of panning these voices manually within the synth itself under the unison category now for the volume it's going to be i guess the same here uh, i don't know why that was lit up maybe it was not linked to it but so we also have it here for pitch as well so this first one here is going to be of seven semitones. And the way we know that is because here on our pitch envelope, there's 1200 cents as you see in the tooltip on the top left. So we have one octave of room to play with. Now this is going to be up 12 or uh, seven little bars here and it's gonna be snapped to the grid. So that way we know it's gonna be up 12 or seven semitones. So it's gonna be adding that fifth for the unison. Also here, what might be kind of hard to see is I took the snapping off and this little point here, I dragged it up maybe by like one to 2%. And it kind of just gives a little bit of pitch variation within the uni unison voices, which we didn't need to do over here. We we're kind of doing this manually. Also for the phase, we can also do a slight change here if we really want to, it's totally up to you. And then moving on, we have our volume here what's oh it's interesting about the pitch here is in the envelope here this is going to be the main sequence so when we hit a note we hold it down it's going to be playing this sequence here and we right click here and we added the loop start and over here here's going to be the sustain loop end and it's just going to repeat this over one whole bar so here's the one over here on the top left and here's two so this is going to be a one bar sequence so it's kind of staying here flat and then it's going up one octave and then down over here to the fifth. So seven semitones up and then root note, octave up, seven, so on, so forth. And then here is kind of doing the fifth, but it's going downwards by, by minus five semitones. So it's still doing the fifth, but it's almost an inversion if you want to think of it that way. Moving on, there's also a lot of stuff here. What we need to talk about, it's kind of hard to remember everything. Ah, this one's going to be actually very important. So in our phase, in our random here, we're going to have this line going from the bottom to the top. If you're if you're following along this, this patch, try to recreate this here, your line's going to be flat. So by doing this, it's going to randomize the phase, which has quite a different sound. So for example, let's listen to it here. Maybe do a lower octave, it sounds a little bit better. Now, if we drag these down here into the center, let's put our snapping back on so it's just in the center here, and we play it. We can hear a lot of phase cancellation, and that's because it's really not being randomized. It's kind of starting at the same spot, and it's canceling at a lot of the same spots. So once we drag this up, it kind of fixes it up and lets it breathe a little bit here. So operator number three is gonna be very similar to operator number one, except this ratio is a ratio of one, and then this operator here is a ratio of eight. The, all the settings are gonna be the exact same as far as like the volume envelopes, same as the first one here, as you can see. A lot of it is just copying and pasting these states here. So if you didn't know how to do this, if you make this whole rhythm here, you can select this little triangle and then go to copy state and go to the next operator and then paste the state so you don't have to recreate the whole thing again. So really the only difference here is gonna be the, uh, the pitch changes here. 
And then for operator number two, we're going to be using a kind of a square, more so a pulse wave here. And going through this one here, we're doing the same thing with the same pitch, just doing the same sequence. Really, the only difference is this is going to be even higher pitch and it's going to be a square. So, for example, if we take out these first two, um, actually, I shall take it off here, number two, kind of filter two, and then three as well. <laughs> So what you're hearing there is just the first operator with a little bit of effects going to the output and also the filter. Then if we add number three, kind of has a higher note to it here, which is layered with the lower operator here. So then if we're just listening to filter number two, it's kind of doing that in the background here. So we can turn off these drums real quick and just listen to that. It's kind of low and barely in the mix, but it does add a little bit of character and then everything together with the kick drum. So if you think about it, really this patch is really the first operator is really driving everything. Operator number three is kind of like number one, doing the same exact stuff, a little bit higher tone. And then number two is much higher tone with a little bit of a different wave here. Now with our filters, this is going to be a little bit interesting as well. So I have the cutoff here for mod X, which is how it's tied to the uh, to the mod X here in the beginning. So you can always use this mod X to change the filter. And then we have a little bit of wave shaping on, and this is kind of the curve I have going on. If this is a lot to recreate, you can download this patch for free in the video description below. But this is kind of just showing a lot of the stuff because this one did take a little bit of time. And yeah, so moving on to that as well. Next, we have our filter number two, which we're going to be sending operator number two down to filter number two, as we can see here. And we have the resonance here, a little change. And then for the mod X, I believe we don't have that as well, because we don't really technically need to do that for operator number two, because it just sounds like this. So there's really not too, too neat to cut too much out of that, which is right here. So I didn't really feel like I needed to modulate that. So while this patch looks kind of simplistic with these knobs here in the front, there's a lot going on within a lot of these graphs. So that's something to keep in mind. Now for our effects section here, we have no chorus here. So that's going to be a zero for delay. We have this first one on the feedbacks at 50%, the timing or the delay is two. The stereo offset is going to be zero and the volume at 50%. And it's going to be on tempo obviously as well. And that's on second delay is off third delay is off, but we are using some reverb on and tempo on the F setting. Low cut is probably about maybe 100 something. We can raise it if we'd like to, but I didn't feel like I needed to change that too much. The high cut, 5.8, the pre-delay, it's more so tied now with the tempo. The room size is going to be about 18%, the diffusion all the way at the top. And then the decay is probably 0.4 seconds. So it's a pretty small one. And then the high dampening is going to be at 3.1K, 3.2K, give or take and then 45% for the volume here. And then these are kind of just mixed to taste. So that's pretty much this patch in a nutshell. If you like the patch or like the video, drop down a thumbs up and a comment. It really helps out the videos. And always the patch is available for free download in the video description below. And we'll see you in the next video.